Hello, I'm Paul Patani and I'm the Managing Director for Abacus in the U.S. Today we're going to show you the highlights of the Abacus Autonomous Boat demonstration that we're doing at the Ibex Show in Tampa, Florida. But before we get started, I wanted to tell you a little bit about Abacus. Abacus is the leader in the field of autonomous boating and part of the HD Hyundai Group from South Korea. It's the world's largest shipbuilder. And Abacus has been developing autonomous systems for commercial ships for over 10 years and was the first to demonstrate autonomous navigation across the Pacific Ocean. We are taking the experience gained with commercial ships to develop systems for recreational boats. Even though the use case and size are different, the systems and data we have developed can be applied to the recreational market. In order to help to move faster in the recreational marine space, we have partnered with Ray Marine, a leader in marine navigation and sensor technology. We are integrating our system with the Axiom line of chart plotters, Ray Marine sensors, and FLIR cameras. You may ask yourself, why do we need autonomy on boats? Well, with today's technology, we can combine data from cameras, sensors, and machine learning to do a lot of useful things that we could not do before. For example, we've had autopilot systems on boats for a long time, but they are passive systems and not reactive. Today, our systems can recognize other boats and objects, calculate distance and speed, and react accordingly to warn our, or maneuver the boat to avoid an accident. This is one use case we will look at today, so let's get started. Our demo is taking place on the Hillsborough River in downtown Tampa. It's a busy boating area with lots of boat traffic, bridges, and channels. We're going to navigate autonomously upriver using a pre-programmed route and demonstrate collision avoidance, adaptive autopilot, and then return to our dock using auto docking. The app we're using today is designed to run on a tablet, but we're working to integrate it, our system into Raymarine's multifunction devices. Keep in mind this version is a prototype that will undergo revisions before launch. The startup screen of the app shows a 3D cluster view of the boat at the dock on the left, and at the right we toggle between chart, navigation, and docking views. Before starting autonomous navigation, the engines must be started and in neutral. At any time, the captain of the boat can deactivate autonomous mode on the app or by taking control of the helm. To start autonomous navigation, you must first select an existing route or heading. In this case, we have a pre-programmed route with waypoints set up. Once the route is selected, you can select the Autonomous Navigation button. You will then be prompted to enter the desired speed. After this, the vessel will shift into gear and begin autonomous navigation. One of the use cases I mentioned earlier was collision avoidance. What we are demonstrating here is a situation where an oncoming vessel crosses our pre-programmed route. Using our sensor fusion technology, our cameras and LiDAR system can detect the speed and direction of the oncoming vessel. Vessels are categorized as yellow for caution or red for a threat. Different types of vessels and objects can be recognized, including large ships, boats, personal watercraft, navigation markers, pylons, and even people and floating objects in the water. Our system calculates the risk level, and if a serious threat is detected, an audible warning is given, and the vessel will follow a new route to avoid a collision. Once the threat is passed, the vessel returns to the original route. This is a very valuable feature that can help distracted captains or a sudden approach from an uh, oncoming vessel. Another feature we are showing now is our surround view capability. This is utilized mainly for docking, but there's another use case, which is narrow channels or getting too close to a wall or another vessel. Using segmentation, our software knows the difference between the water surface and a fixed object. The surround view camera view shows the fixed object and shades them in red to provide a guide to the driver and make them aware of the object. We do this without using ultrasonic sensors as you would see in a car. We do this only using our cameras and software algorithm. Here is another feature there that is very similar to what you would see in a car, adaptive cruise control. We call this adaptive autopilot. Here you can see we are coming up to the stern of another vessel that is going slower than we are. Instead of running into the rear of the vessel, the system will adjust our speed to match the speed of the vessel we are following. Our boat will resume the selected speed after the path is clear. 
Probably the most requested feature of autonomous boating is auto docking. It's especially useful for new boaters or less than ideal boating conditions. You can initiate auto docking from the surround view mode. Any available spaces will be shown as a yellow rectangle. The system knows the size of our boat and will only indicate spaces of sufficient size. The captain selects a space and at orientation the vessel should be docked. Bow first, stern first, port or starboard. Once auto docking is completed and the boat secured, the captain can select the finish button. Well, that wraps up our demo today, and please continue to follow Abacus on LinkedIn and our website at abacus.ai. We'll be at the Fort Lauderdale Miami Boat Shows later this year, and invite you to come to visit our booth. Thanks for joining us today. Yeah.